Hello Tubers, Mescal here. So this is just another update on the um, repair and running of this um, vacuum casting machine. I had it up to temp to melt some silver yesterday and all went well. It definitely needed to be switched to um, full power instead of preheat because it wouldn't get up to um, to 900 so it was sitting around 400 so if anyone else has got one of these and doesn't have a manual you can expect it to preheat to around about 400 degrees before you hit it to full so yeah taking off the hoses here I had a hard time sourcing any hose um, and I ended up just going to Bunnings and buying this black um, barbecue stuff it's uh, like 18.95 for 1.5 meters and I'm cutting the fittings off and using that um, I've got a nice hard wall like the stuff that I'm removing and suitably pressure rated and flexible enough that it's gonna move with the head when the, um, the head gets flipped over in the working procedure yeah all right so removing these, I'm cutting them so that they just come and focus, so that they just pop off quite easily. It's a shame to be cutting off perfectly good fittings, because they're a crimp on thing, they'll never be used again. I guess I'll just melt them as brass. Pretty good quality little clamps. Sometimes they don't work the second time round, but these are nice, good ones. I get the feeling somebody's tried to repair this already, or you know, had it repaired and then these old hoses have failed again because there's two different types of hose on here and, you know, uh, they're vacuum lines anyway so I can't imagine that um, there's a reason for these being different other than these had been replaced at some point in its life. So once I've loosened the um, clamp and moved it out of the way I'm going in with a nice sharp pair of um, side cutters and just putting a nice slice in it and it just makes it really easy to get off otherwise it's quite a tug of war Good quality stainless fittings. It's well built this machine. The old YouTube one handed action. Suss on this part here, this is this switch mechanism. I don't think there's any leaks, but I can't get it to pull a vacuum. That looks pretty bad. So I did have it pull a vacuum first time I played with it, which has got me confused, you know, like obviously something worked once, but why it's not working now? I mean I managed to get it to pull a vacuum if I'm blocking this hose with the hose disconnected and pulling this lever but it's not meant to be pulled or engaged to pull a vacuum so I don't know it's it's got me confused we've got a bit of vacuum going on there but not enough it went up to about uh, 40 so it's quite capable of pulling a lot more 
Hello viewers, Mezcal here. It's been a long time since uh, buying this thing and purchasing a replacement one of these, which was the wrong thing because it was listed as a three-way. Um, it was the wrong kind of terminology for the way that, it, you know, I was looking for three-way roller switch valve and I was finding Chinese sellers selling something like that. But once I uh, explained to someone who actually knew what they're called, he said, no, 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 you call them a 3-2, a 3 over 2, like fraction, 3 over 2 um, valve. And then I started finding sellers that were, you know, you know, Festo and Aussie sellers as well. And I found this one here, a South Australian seller, and got it for 30 bucks. So, yeah, it just turned up today. I've just put it on. I haven't even started the machine. So uh, I'll set it up, get the plug out, plug it in, and... So I'm expecting to see it pull a good vacuum and also uh, have pressure and when I pull that valve um, the vacuum will disappear and the pressure will also reduce but the pressure will be shunted into the bottle and I'm pretty sure that's set correctly so uh, fingers crossed here we go uh, pumper oh we're pulling vacuum okay so let's just See what happens. We're holding vacuum. And it reversed it. Perfect. Oh, excellent. Thanks for watching. More to come.